Hey guys, in this video we are going to be making a swimsuit cover up. To make this, you can use a number 3 lightweight yarn or a number 4 medium weight yarn and the recommended hook size for your yarn. Here I am using a Lion Brand Pound of Love yarn with the recommended hook size of 6 millimeters. To get started with this, you are going to want to know your waist size. My waist measures 30 inches around, and when you know your waist size, you're going to want to divide that in half. So for me, I'm going to use 15 inches for my front and back panel of this project. When you know your waist size and you have divided that in half for your front and back panel, you will then want to go on to work a chain the length that you need for half of your waist size. And you will want this beginning chain to be a multiple of four plus two. So to reach a length of 15 inches for my beginning chain, I chained 64 chains, which is a multiple of four, and then I added two for 66 chains. For this project, this beginning chain is going to be our first row. So for the second row, we are going to go on to work a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. So again, work a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook, and then work one single crochet into each stitch all the way across your beginning chain. When you have worked one single crochet in each stitch all the way across that second row, you should have one stitch less than you had for your beginning chain. And again, that was the end of row two. For row three, we are going to turn our work and start with a chain of two, which does not count as a stitch. And we are going to double crochet into the same first stitch double crochet into the next stitch and then we are going to chain one skip a stitch and work one double crochet in the next three stitches we will then chain one skip a stitch and double crochet in the next three stitches and we are going to repeat this all the way across until we have two stitches left at the end of this row. When you have worked that all the way across, you will end with a chain one and a stitch left to skip. And after skipping that stitch, you will be left with two stitches left. And we are going to double crochet one time in these last two stitches. And that is the end of row three. And for this row, you should have two double crochets at either end of the row. Then have sets of three double crochets all the way across. And all of these sets are separated by a chain one and a skipped stitch. For the next row, row four, we are going to turn our work and we are going to start with a chain of one, which does not count as a stitch. And we're going to single crochet in the same first stitch. We will then chain one and skip a stitch and single crochet around the next chain one space. We will then chain four and single crochet around the next chain one space. And that is what we are going to do all the way across this row. So again, we are going to chain four and single crochet around the next chain one space. And we are going to repeat this until we have single crocheted around the last chain one space of the row. When you have worked that all the way across that row and you have single crocheted around the last chain one space, we will then chain one more 
and skip a stitch and then single crochet into the last double crochet of the row and that is the end of row four and for this row you should have a single crochet around each chain one space a chain four over each set of three double crochets and a single crochet in the first and last stitch of the row with a chain one space before and after those stitches. For the next row, row five, we are going to turn our work and we are going to start with a chain of two, which does not count as a stitch. And we are going to double crochet into the same first stitch. And then we are going to double crochet around the next chain one space. We will then chain one and skip the single crochet and work three double crochets around the next chain four space. We will then chain one, skip the single crochet and work three double crochets around the next chain four space. And that is what we're going to do all the way across this row. Again, by chaining one, skipping the single crochet and working one double crochet around the next chain four space. And do that all the way across this row until you have worked three double crochets around the last chain four space. When you have worked that all the way across and you have three double crochets around your last chain four space, we will then chain one, skip a stitch, and double crochet around the last chain one space of the row. And then we're going to double crochet into the last stitch of the row. And that is the end of row five. You will now go on to repeat row four and row five until you have the length that you would like for your front panel or back panel measuring from where you would like your armholes to start or at about the bottom of your armpit. I'm going to go on to repeat these two rows until I have finished with row 53 and then we are going to go on to decrease for the top of our panels. When you are ready to decrease for your armholes, you should end on one of these double crochet rows and again, I have worked through row 53, and I'm now going to go on to decrease for the top of the panels. For the first row of decreasing, we are going to turn our work. We are going to start with a chain one and single crochet into the same first stitch. And we're going to chain one and single crochet around the first chain one space. And then we are going to chain one and single crochet around the next chain one space. We will then chain three and single crochet around the next chain one space. So, so far we should have a single crochet, a chain one, a single crochet, a chain one, a single crochet, a chain three, and a single crochet. We are then going to go on to work this row as we normally would by working a chain of four and single crochet around the next chain one space and continue doing this until you have two chain one spaces left at the end of this row. When you have two chain one spaces left at the end of this row, we will then mirror what we did on the other side. So we are going to work a chain of three and single crochet around the next chain one space, then chain one and single crochet around the next chain one space, then chain one, skip a stitch and single crochet into the last stitch of the row. For the next row to complete this decrease, 
we're going to turn our work and we're going to start with a chain of two and we're going to double crochet into the same first stitch and double crochet around the next chain one space we're then going to chain one and skip the single crochet and we're going to work one double crochet around this next chain one space we are then not going to chain at all and we're going to work two double crochets around this next chain three space so this will act as our first set of three double crochets we will then chain one and work three double crochets around the next chain four space and we will continue doing this until you come to the chain three space at the other end of this row so again chain one and work three double crochets around the next chain four space until you come to the chain three space at the end of the row when you come to the chain three space on the other end of this row we are going to work two double crochets around the chain three space and then we are going to directly work one double crochet around the next chain one space and that acts as our last set of three double crochets then we will chain one skip this single crochet and work a double crochet around the last chain one space and work a double crochet into the last stitch of the row so just like every other double crochet row you will have these two double crochets at the beginning and end of the row and then you will have this makeshift set of three double crochets again at the beginning and end of the row otherwise the row should be worked exactly the same all the way across so you are now going to want to decrease as many times as you would like to to get the width across the top of this that you would like for the width across the chest and the width across your back at the top of your panels and you also want to continue doing this until you have the length that you need for the rest of your panel continuing from where your armhole will start up to where you would like your straps to be you can continue to strictly decrease on every row from here on out if that is what you would like or what you need to do or you can work some of these regular rows without decreasing to prolong the width that you have what I am going to do is for the next two rows I am NOT going to decrease so I will work the next two rows as we have been all the way up and then I will decrease again and I will alternate decreasing and not decreasing until I have decreased four times and I will end with a not decreasing set of rows with a double crochet row on top so again I'm going to go on to alternate decreasing and not decreasing sets of rows until I have decreased four times and when I have done that I will have finished off row 69 and that will leave me with ending off on a not decreasing set of rows with my double crochet row on top the width of the top of my panel at that point will be about eight inches across which is the width that I would like it to be across the top of my chest with the ends of each side being where I would like my straps to come off of so you are going to want to go on to decrease whenever and wherever you would like to to make the top of your front panel the shape and length that you would like it to be okay so now I have decreased four times which you can see here on the sides 
and then I finished off on a non-decreasing set of rows with a double crochet row on top and that was row 69 for me and that leaves me about 8 inches across the top. When you have worked your panel to be the length that you need to, starting from where you started to decrease, making a big enough armhole and making that length long enough and then getting the width across the top that you would like. And when you have done that, you will then want to finish off your work like I have done here. And you will want to make two of the exact same panels. When you have two of these panels made, you will want to line them up. So this is the top and where I started decreasing for the armhole here. And this is the side of my panels. So I am now going to go on to sew the sides together to form the body of this project. And here I have marked where I would like my slit to end on the side. So I'm going to leave my slit about 10 and a half inches long on the side of my work. And I am going to start sewing the sides together here, making sure that the rows are lined up. And I'm going to sew all the way up to where I started decreasing for the armhole. But I am going to end on the first non-decreasing row before I started decreasing. It is up to you where you want to sew up to and where you want your armhole to start depending on how you worked this area and the top of your panel. But again, you will want to sew the sides of your panels together to make your armhole at the top and to create a slit here at the bottom of your work. And then you will want to do the same thing on the other side as well. When you have the sides sewn together, we are then going to go on to make the straps. So to do this, we are going to go to the top of one of our panels and with a slip knot on our hook, we are going to slip stitch into a stitch on the top of one of our panels. And this will now be our back panel. So again, slip stitch into a stitch. And then we are going to chain one and single crochet into the same stitch. And we are going to single crochet into and single crochet around each stitch until you get to the end of this back panel. When you have single crocheted all the way to the end of that back panel, we will then go on to chain a chain for the strap. To figure out how long you would like your strap to be, the best way to do this in my opinion is to measure from the very top of your shoulder to where you would like the top of your panel to sit. For me, that is about three and a half inches from where I would like the top of this to sit to the top of my shoulder. So I am going to multiply that by two, which is about seven inches long. So I am going to chain 26 chains to reach seven inches long for my strap. So again, you'll want to go on to chain however many chains you need to, to reach the length that you would like for your strap at this point. When you have a chain the length you would like for your strap, you will then want to go to the corresponding corner on the front panel. So here is our armhole and this is the corresponding corner on my front panel. So we are now going to turn our work so that we are looking at the front panel and that corresponding corner. We are going to make sure that our chain is all the way straight and we are going to single crochet into this first double crochet on the front panel. We will then go on to single crochet into and around each stitch across the top of this front panel until you get to the other side. 
When you have made it to the other end of the top of the front panel, we will then go on to chain the same amount on this side for the strap that we did for the other side. And again, I chained 26 chains for a seven inch strap. When you again have the chain for your strap, we are then going to go to the corresponding corner on the back panel and we are going to turn our work. Make sure that our chain is completely straight and then single crochet into the first double crochet on the back panel and single crochet into and around each stitch across the back panel until you get back to that beginning single crochet of this border that we have worked. When you get back to the stitch that we started in, we are going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of this round. We are now going to go on to chain one and single crochet into the same first stitch. And we're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around this round until you get back to that beginning single crochet. So that does mean working one single crochet into each stitch until you come to the chain for your strap, working one single crochet into each chain all the way across, coming to the front panel and working one single crochet in each stitch all the way across the front panel until you come to your second strap, working one single crochet in each stitch all the way across the chain for your second strap, coming back to the back panel and working one single crochet in each stitch until you come back to your beginning single crochet. When you have worked a second round all the way around that border and across your straps, and you have made it back to your beginning single crochet, you will then slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet, and we are going to finish off our work here, and we are going to work one more border around the armholes to finish off the look for our straps. If you do not want to add any more to your straps, you do not have to. You can finish it off here and weave in your ends if you would like. I like to add one more round around the armholes, again, to make the strap look the way that I would like it to look and be the width that I would like it to be. So if you would like to do that also, we will go on to do that now. To work a border around the armhole, we are again going to start with a slip knot on our hook. And on the back panel in the armhole area, we are going to slip stitch into a stitch on the side of the armhole. So again, slip stitch into the side of any stitch. And we are going to do the same thing for this border that we did for the other by chaining one and single crocheting into the same first stitch and single crocheting into the side of each stitch all the way around this armhole. So that does mean going down the armhole on this back panel side, then curving around and going up the armhole on the front panel, up until you get to the chain for the strap, where you will work single crochets into the other side of each chain all the way across the strap, until you again come back to the back panel, where you will continue working one single crochet into the side of each stitch all the way until you come back to this beginning single crochet. When you have made it all the way around your armhole and worked another side to your strap, and you have made it back to the beginning single crochet of this border, you will then slip stitch into the top of this beginning single crochet and finish this off and weave in your ends and go on to do the exact same thing for your other armhole. And that's all there is to it. So I hope that that was helpful and enjoyable for you. If it was, please hit that sub like and bell button and leave me a comment to tell me what you think. I hope that you guys go on to create many more amazing things. And until next time guys, I'll see ya.